Welcome to Clydebank High School. We are proud to support Challenge Poverty Week. We aim to support our community in a number of different ways. Last year, we supported families by spending over £15,000 on school uniform. We also helped by supporting the health and well-being of our young people by spending £5,000 on PE kits, ensuring equity across every pupil in the school. Every morning, we host Breakfast Club. Last year, we served over 29,000 pupils their breakfast. This year so far, we've served over 150 breakfasts every single day and are projected to serve over 40,000 over the course of this session. We're also supported in the community by a number of charitable organisations and local businesses. The money donated helps us to support every pupil in the school. The support and the money donated by these organisations helps us in our goal to eliminate the poverty-related attainment gap and ensuring all of our pupils have the same opportunities throughout their school career. Hi, welcome to Cloudbank High Challenge Poverty presentation. I'm Nicola Strang and I'm a modern studies teacher at the school. Some of you may remember three years ago we held a family fun day one Saturday in the school for the Poverty Alliance's Challenge Poverty Week. Our family fun day was entirely free for all families of Cloudbank High and the associated primaries and it was a huge success. We offered lots of fun activities free of charge and with various stalls with local organisations offering advice. We realised that many of those living in poverty were actually unaware of the help and benefits that they were entitled to. Local organisations were a very important aspect of the Family Fund Day as it allowed many families to benefit from the services available to them. It really was a fantastic day as it brought families together, they had fun and it was done in a non-stigmatising way. The idea was not to fundraise, but to raise awareness and find possible solutions to tackling poverty and helping families. And the hope was that if families improved their living standards, that in turn would benefit the child, which in turn would go some small way in tackling the attainment gap. Education is key, and for many, it's the only route out of poverty. For anyone who doesn't know, Challenge Poverty, organised by the Poverty Alliance, runs in October each year and it's a Scotland-wide campaign which is designed to show that poverty is a real problem in Scotland, that it affects large and growing numbers of people, including children, and encourages people to work together to end it. After our Family Fund Day, we started a journey that day in Clydebank High School. We reduced some of the stigma surrounding poverty and we raised awareness. We helped many families get the help that they were entitled to and we started much needed conversations. From that point, other initiatives took place in our school community. I wanted to get Clydebank High School involved in this year's Challenge Poverty Week and come up with the idea of creating this video presentation on the impact of poverty, how it affects children, how the pandemic has forced more into poverty and what help is available to those who need it. I contacted local organisations to see if they would be willing to provide a short presentation on what they do, what help is available and how to contact them. And you'll hear from them all shortly. We live and we work in an authority with high areas of deprivation and sadly see poverty and the impact of it firsthand. For teachers, this could be seeing a young person coming to class with no resources, no stationery, sometimes without even a school bag, or seeing it in their faces, some pale and tired looking, or during classwork, some lacking in concentration and either acting out of character or withdrawing. For some young people, it's an achievement just getting up and into school, some days, never mind with a bag full of jotters and resources. Back in 2017, we launched Clybank High's Food Bank and Toy Bank Appeal on behalf of our local food bank, Western Bartonshire Community Food Share, who we work closely with. And in the run up to Christmas, senior pupils volunteer their time and help lead the Food Bank Committee. We work closely together and organise fundraising events to generate much needed funds for the Christmas Appeal. And we've been collecting donations and raising awareness for four years now, with 2020 actually being our most successful one yet, despite circumstances and restrictions. You'll hear from some of our senior pupils during this presentation. We feel that Challenge Poverty Week is a chance for Clydebank High School and for all of us to highlight the injustice of poverty in Scotland and to celebrate the people and the projects who are standing together against it in different ways.
The WISE Group provides free, impartial energy advice and support to help householders to stay in control of their energy bills and keep warm and well at home. The Home Energy Advice Team can help whether you own or rent your property and specialises in supporting more vulnerable householders worried about their energy bills who may be limiting their energy supply or at risk of self-disconnection. The WISE Group provides assistance with checking benefit entitlement, access to the Energy Crisis Fund to help support those in danger of being disconnected, advice to reduce energy costs, help to access the discounts available, help to set up realistic budget plans, and assistance to accessing funding that is available for energy efficiency and improvements. Thanks, Chris. Um, my name's Stephen Brooks. I work for Western Bartonshire Council in the Working for You services. My name's Trisha McGovern. I'm a Working for You officer working in the Poverty and Social Inclusion projects. I work within the schools in the Clyde Bank area. Our interest, our, 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 our service delivers support to um, local people who are seeking work and looking to capitalise on opportunities and learning and need support to secure benefits or address their debts. Poverty can affect children and their families in very, very many different ways. Poverty isn't always visual, uh, but poverty can be amongst us all. surprised by the number of children that are in poverty in, in, in Great Britain. There are 3.3 million in, living in poverty. Um, that I think is about 30% of the population of children in, in the UK. In Scotland there's 200,000 children living in poverty. And in Western Bartonshire there are, are approximately 15,000 um, people in the age group from 0 to 15 year old. 27% of them are living in poverty. That's 4,000 um, young people living in poverty in Western Blanchard. One of the things that families felt most acutely was when their young people had to be homeschooled. And this highlighted the number of families that were digitally excluded because they didn't have the hardware, they didn't have the software to be able to go online to do online learning. that are closer to the averages than Western Bartonshire. Western Bartonshire is comparatively higher levels. And I think the best way to, to actually address poverty is give people money. That's no difficult. But how do you get people money? Um, we support them to get into work. So if there's, people, if there's families that are likely to be, uh, have fewer resources because their incomes are low, then the easy solution is get work. Not quite as an easy a solution as, it, as it, it, it would appear because there are circumstances that people face that actually prevent them from considering work as an option. Maybe ill health, maybe because they've got big families, maybe because they're lone parents. There are consequences and causes that are interacting in a way 
in a complex way that reinforce the circumstances that the families find themselves in. What made you want to join the Food Bank Committee? We chose to join Claymont High's Food Bank Committee to help people in our community who are struggling to afford their basic needs. We also feel that joining this committee will be very rewarding as we can see firsthand the families we will be helping and how these small contributions can help change lives. And our work with the Toy Bank allows us to help hundreds of children across Western Bartonshire wake up with presents on Christmas who otherwise may have went without. This is a few reasons why we would love to volunteer for the Food Bank Committee. Western Partnership Community Food Share have been providing support to anyone experiencing poverty in Western Partnership for eight and a half years now. We have six projects, but our main project is the emergency food provision. We are able to provide food parcels which contain ambient food, fresh, frozen, fruit and veg, baby milk, nappies, toiletries and cleaning products. Prior to COVID, we ran three distribution centres each week, but when COVID hit in March last year, we closed our distribution centres and moved to a delivery method. Um, the home delivery method has worked very well and it's a much more dignified approach to food insecurity. So for that reason, our Board of Trustees have decided to continue with the home delivery method. Last year, due to COVID, um, we had a massive increase in demand and over the full year we've seen an 84% increase on the previous year's figures. We also do school holiday brunch bags during all school holidays. Um, this project's been running for around five years now and it's a massive help to local families who see an increase in food costs when the kids are off school. Our brunch bags contain enough breakfast and lunch for a week and also contains bread, cold meat, yogurts, fruit, biscuits, crisps and juice. And this summer again we were able to include a Factor 50 sun cream for when the weather was nice. Um, at Christmas time we run a toy bank. Last year we again seen an increase in demand for this project and we supported 965 local children who would otherwise have woken up on Christmas morning to nothing. Um, each child received a large gift bag about this size with between about six and eight new toys in it. Our baby bank has been running for a couple of years now. Um, we have clothing from newborn babies up to age 45. We also have baby equipment. We've got prams, cots, cribs, walkers, high chairs. Um, this project has proven to be very popular also. Um, we get requests for support from local parents, but we're also well used by health visitors, child nurses and social work. Our school uniform bank has been running since 2015 and we are able to provide uh, families with most uniform items that they need. Um, so we do have quite a bit of stock at the moment, as you'll be able to see. Um, 
in the summertime we run the Uniform Bank in a big way to support the children going back to school in August. But we do have stock that families can request support uh, throughout the year. There are many families living in poverty and if we can help alleviate some of the pressures people encounter by offering help and advice, then it would be a start. Poverty restricts people's lives in lots of different ways and we need to turn compassion into action. We as teachers can play our part. We can raise awareness, we can reduce the stigma surrounding poverty, we can create inclusive and safe environments, we can involve young people in our plans and projects, we can offer subject-specific targeted support, and we can aim to make a difference to the lives of young people facing the consequences of growing up in poverty and experiencing hardship. And it can start in our classroom. And if parents and guardians can get access to the help that they're entitled to, then that will go some way to helping the children in their care and whom we teach. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Clydebank High School's Challenge Poverty presentation. <laughs>